you already know what it do. SPI, the most HD back in the block. Black Box by way of Cliche 93 TV Productions. And I got a very, very special guest. I'm going to try to pronounce this correct. Ayatollah, is that correct? Ayatollah. Ayatollah Moore, the honorable, the legend. Um, we, The majority of us have been familiar with him from YouTube. He, um, he's made a, a heavy presence on there. Me personally, I've gotten um, more familiar with him off of the internet. And uh, I'm honored to have him here today. Welcome to the Black Box, big homie. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm glad you reached out. I didn't have nothing to do today. That's how the creator makes things work, because you a busy man. That's the, one of the first times I've in, talked to you, and you wasn't in the midst of really handling something. You either at the airport, uh, getting off a plane, on your way, or you're on a conference call with some important people. Shout out to BC from My Pyro too, who also uh, put me in touch with you on the conference call right. initially, man. Big B. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I really prepared for this uh, this sit down, so I I got some questions, man. But before we get into these questions, I've been dying to ask you something for the longest. Um, I got some roots over there off of El Segundo and McKinley, and I got an uncle, rest in peace, and he grew up living on McKinley, and I was he was born I think in '57. Name is Brody Lloyd. I was wondering if you had ever heard of a dude named Brody Lloyd. Brody Lloyd. He was on El Segundo and yep. McKinley? Yep, like about six, seven houses off of El, from El Segundo on the on um, McKinley. On McKinley. Yeah, McKinley, a long block. And I stay way on the other side. On the dudes. I stay on, I, I, I grew up on Elm and Dwight. Okay. On Gonzalez Park. Okay. But I went to, Va I'm, I'm the first year of Vanguard. Okay. And everybody was going to enter prison. And uh, I was going to drop out of school if I had to go over there with them Swamp Boys. And okay. They, oh, the Enterprise you know, with the Swamp Boys? Huh? That was the Swamp Boys school. On oh, man, the Enterprise was the okay. man. We was, see, before Cedar Block became Cedar Block, from the Canal back to Central and from Rosecrans to Compton Boulevard, before Palmer Block, we was all treetops. Because mm. all, all our streets are named after trees. Mm. From Spruce all the way down to Magnolia. Wow, okay. You dig what I'm saying? Yes. So all of my older homeboys, they had to go to Enterprise. Mm. So when they went to Enterprise, across the street from Enterprise was Eddie's Shine Parlor. And that's mm. where everybody went and bought ice cream. And the treetops fought the swamps all the way back to Compton, uh, Compton Boulevard and Central, to our hood. Wow. Right? And so my, my squad wasn't that good, you know. So <laughs> I should, I didn't want to go there. It was Charles Hall and all that. They had, they had some... Some knockout artists over there, right? I, okay. I was getting ready to drop out of school at Tibby. And they uh, told Tibby. us, they said, man, we got a school that we used to be uh, where Fantastic where the Fantastic Fair was where the uh, APs are now. Okay. And uh, they said, we, it used to be where Vanguard it used to be the horse stables. Mm. And uh, they said, man, well, they, we made a school named Vanguard. And y'all will be the first class. I was like, man, God looked down on me because we didn't care about nobody going North, uh, 142nd to Pyro, boy, there wasn't no threat to us, you know. That's crazy because I asked, well, when I asked, I called my mother to say, uh, to find out where your Uncle Brody was born in. And then she told me, and I told her, well, she was like, why, why you want to know? I told her what I was up to. And I said, more, they was like, what's his last name? And they, they asked me if her last name was Carter. And I said, I don't know his last name. So I was, now that I know that it's not you who they assumed that I might be referring to, that that's, that's interesting. But my mom and them went to Vanguard. Okay, what you, she was born in fifty. Uh, she, oh, she, what's your mama name? Gloria Lloyd. They the Lloyd family. It's the Lloyds. But Lloyd, well, I gotta know her. Tamara. She had a sister named Esther. Tamara, Abigail. Rest in peace, Auntie Abby. And okay, Ray. yeah. She, yeah. She went to Vanguard because she graduated in sixty eight. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I graduated so. in sixty eight. She, she we, went to we Centennial too. You went to Centennial? Huh? You went to Centennial? I, I didn't stay long. I graduated okay. from Gardena High School. Okay, you you okay. I tried Compton. It didn't work out. I get, I got bad. <laughs> so. Uh, because at that time, when we went over to Compton, um, you got the swamps and what they call Nutty Block was called uh, Boot Hill because of the graveyard. Right? Oh, so that was before Grandy's, it was Boot Hill. Before the Grandy's, it Damn. was all Boot Hill. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And so I had a failure to communicate there. We went over to Centennial, got into it with some front, the front uh -huh. hood, and they tried to send me the continuation. My mama said, oh, you, I asked going to... I, I noticed you just went from the swamps all the way to the nutties, and you didn't say nothing about the track news of the Lantanas. Was they not there yet? No, they wasn't. They did. I mean, the track new apartments was, but the, the park wasn't there. Wow. All of that area was swamp hood. That's deep. 
And those literally used to be swamps over there in that little down there. Campanella Park was a swamp. Mm. Uh, where the Joy Homes over there off of Redondo from from um, Enterprise all the way. You see that valley that goes over to Alondra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of that, that was ditch. dead. Okay. All of that was the swamp. That's why it was the swamp neighborhood. I've been told that all my life. This is a perfect dialogue because I was going to ask you about some history of Compton. In particular, the Pyru, the fraternity, is established off that stretch right there on Central um, so between uh, Central and Parmalee. Okay, that's crazy. And the creation of this, the the Piru boys came, be, uh, uh, as I always say, Mickey Bourne, uh, Lonnie Hall, um, Clarence Grandy, and, and Victor Murphy were bank robbers. Okay. You get what I'm saying? We, okay. we, we was young dudes, you know. Okay. And we used to, our hood used to go and play them because, I mean, in on Piru Street, Every family had like five boys. Mm. They had their own gang right there. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. We used to go play them football. So one day we was out playing football, and Mickey Blue, the oldest brother, Mickey's 1960, 61, mm. pulls up in a brand new Cadillac, right? He looking, jumps out, he got a process, got a, 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 a shark skin suit on. I'm like, who is that? See, that's Terry Brother. Mm. Terry Brother. Goes up to the house, go to his mother, come outside. He says, hey, y'all, come here. So you ever seen a, 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 a trunk of money? Mm. A trunk of money? He opens we, He opened his, the trunk up a long 61 Cadillac, mm. and he got a big chiffre roll tr- check and lifted up all $100 bills, small faces. We never seen that much money in our life, right? Mm. Then he takes a, a, a pillowcase and empty it out, and he got all bow dollars in it. <laughs> Get what you want. Bow dollars was... That's a dollar bill, oh, a dollar. silver dollar oh, bill. Silver, okay. And you call them bow dollars okay, in my day. Okay. Silver dollars. Mm. He pulls them on the ground. He, Man, y'all, y'all get some. We all putting money in our Miss Boy. Mickey, don't be giving them boys <laughs> all that money. I said, Man, who is that? They said, That's Mickey Blue. That's Terry brother. I said, What do you do? He said, We rob banks. I mm. want to be a bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> Free big SBI. That's hard. Yeah, so a week after that, these white boys come up to Miss Bourne house, and they go to the house, two white, they come out, they say, man, uh, they ask us the names. Mm. Y'all know them? No, we don't know them. Who are they? They the Piru boys. Mm. And that's the first time the Piru boys, and they was money getters. Mm. You know? Okay. So that's the first dispensation. Then you got Terry, Terry, Jerry Nelson, and and Big H, Har- Harold, uh, they, they, bank robbers, they robbed an um, armored car truck. 1968. Okay. So where does the name Babalu come in at? When, when Babalu he came, they the, they the third generation. Okay. They, they, he comes, he come up, he come up with pudding there. Tell me this: is there a name? Uh, is there a meaning to your name? Ayatollah. Ayatollah, Ayatollah is an attribute. Okay. And the attribute is the evidence of God. Mm. I, I got the name. I was in Texas selling drugs and. Uh, the police got at me in Texas, and my attorneys put me on a plane at Harvey Airport Base and took me to, uh, I went to Las Vegas, and I sent a wanted poster back to Texas that Mar, uh, Marvin Kinsey outfoxes Texas, right? Mm. Texas so mad, so the, the, the drug police in Linwood, Judge uh, Detective Waters, him, catch me over in Fruit Time and arrest me and told the, the um Texas that they had me under arrest. Mm. So they send me down to the county jail. I go in 1750 and this 1979. The Ayatollah Khomeini, he had had 40 hostages and had them under hostage from, from America. And America had to give him $40 billion. Mm. So California thought that Texas was going to pull me back. And my attorneys went to uh, the judge and told uh, Judge Pete Moore, man, they got uh, Marvin and this, and they don't have no evidence. And so the, the judge told him, well, if you want him, you bring him. We're not sending for him, right? Right. So Doc Holliday at the BGF, he yeah. said, I was marvelous Marv then. Marvelous Marv, I like that. He said, Marv, you like the Ayatollah Khomeini, right? Mm. And so him and Ray Ray Brown and then start calling me Ayatollah, and the name stuck. Okay, so you got it on some gangsterism, but I'm aware you are of a spiritual Nature. I've heard you speak of spirituality. I'm with the nation of Islam. Nation Islam. Okay. Yeah. So even though it means the presence of God, that ain't exactly how you got it. 
That ain't how I got it. Yeah, I earned it. But That's you, right. That something, it comes, you know, uh, things come in mysterious ways. Right, right. You know, so, yeah, I, I was pushing the nation and pushing corruption. And, you know, by the grace of Allah, that I, I got the attribute, you know. Uh -oh. Some people say, well, man, he didn't, get, he didn't become uh, Ayatollah Mar until 1979. He was late. Nigga, I was on time. I was before time, before I was man, Anybody still alive complaining about you was too late in 79. They, I don't understand. That's like some of the earliest. you even going back to the 60s with some of your memories. So, you know, the naysayers can say nay. When you were speaking about all the Compton schools, I, I got the picture of what's going on over there on the line. What you think about the little Compton 